find the partial fraction expansion for x to the fourth plus x cubed plus one over x squared plus one squared times x. First step, we need a complete factorization of our denominator. In this case, that's done for us. So we just need to talk about how to set up the expansion. Now, from that factorization, there's gonna be two types of factors. We'll have linear factors to a power, so it's gonna be like x minus c to the n. We'll have irreducible quadratics to a power, so that'll be like our x squared plus one squared. What kind of contributions come out of each of these terms? For the linear factor to a power, we start with the highest power. We're gonna get a over x minus c to the n, and then I include a contribution for each lower exponent. For the irreducible quadratics, same idea, except our numerator is gonna be the form bx plus c. In our special case, the only linear factor I have is x. It's gonna be x minus zero. So the contribution is gonna be a over x. For the irreducible quadratic, that's gonna be our x squared plus one squared. We're gonna get two terms. We'll have b1x plus c1 over x squared plus one squared, and b2x plus c2 over x squared plus one. So that's our expansion. We set our expansion equal to the original function, clear out the denominators, then you just clean up. And then once we have this equation here, we're just gonna identify like powers of x. That'll give us five equations to get a, b's, and c's. Now, for x to the fourth, what do we get? On this side, I have a one. On the other side, we go through, we'll have an a and a b2. So we'll have one equals a plus b2. For x cubed, on this side I have a one. I go through. Over here, we'll only have a c2. So we get c2 is equal to one. For x squared, there's no x squared here, so that means the coefficient is zero. On the other side, we're gonna have 2a, b1, and b2. So we have zero equals 2a plus b1 plus b2. For x, again, we have a zero on this side. On the other side, we'll have a c1 and a c2. And then you note here, I can solve for c1. We know that c2 is equal to one, so we're gonna have c1 is equal to minus one. And then finally, the constant term, so that means no x. We're gonna have a one over here, and then on the other side, I'm just gonna have a. So we'll also get a is equal to one. Now, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have c2 is one, we solve for c1 equals minus one, and we have a equals one. So that means if we take a equals one, put it into our first equation, that gives me b2 equals zero. If b2 equals zero, we could use our third equation to get b1 equals minus two. So that solves for all five coefficients. So that's gonna give us our answer. Our partial fraction expansion is one over x plus minus two x minus one over x squared plus one squared plus one over x squared plus one. Now, of course, you check your work. So you're just gonna multiply through denominators on both sides, clear everything out, and then you'll note on this side, when you combine everything, you're gonna get your x fourth plus x cubed plus one as promised. So it checks out. 